So, um, we will move to the final part of the neurological examination. Can you do the tapping score for me, just like this? And now with the other hand, please. Yeah, that's quite all right. May, I'm sorry to say that uh, despite your young age, and although the symptoms are mild, I think you actually have Parkinson's disease. Ooh. Well, Dr. Bloom, that comes as a real big shock to me. Um, I'm still so young, how is it possible? I, I have one big question. What will my future look like? Well, I understand your question. Um, I brought a crystal ball. Let's have a look in the future. Come with me. Oh my gosh. Oh, well. Oh. I actually have some very good news for you. Okay. You will win the lottery a year from now. Okay. Well. I'm very grateful for this uh, good news, Dr. Bloom, but um, I really appreciate your very creative and inventive uh, approach to my question about my future, but I really am not so interested in, you know, fortune cookies and uh, crystal ball gazing. I want some reliable information about Parkinson's disease. You just told me I have Parkinson's, so could you maybe tell me a little bit more about that? Oh well, let's have another look. Oh, uh, I need to rub it, I think. It's a lot hazier now, suddenly. Oh. This is a tough question. Oh. Well, it looks like, on average, Parkinson's is a very complex disease, and most people live very long with Parkinson's disease. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very so sorry, Dr. Bloom, but I'm, I'm still not content with that answer because I'm still very young and I have my whole future ahead of me and I would like to know what does it mean for me, you know, in my situation. Can you tell me a little bit uh, more specifically about that? Well, that's interesting, isn't it? We're here together with a thousand people to speak about our future health, but you want to know about your future health. Well, yes, exactly. I think there are two really important things that influence my life and that I would like to know about. Firstly, I would like to have some general about, uh, information about Parkinson's disease. I would like to learn everything there is about the disease that, you know, I want to know so much about it. And secondly, I want to have more specific information about women my age, women that work, women that have children like me, I would like to know, will I still be active and will I be able to see my 13-year-old daughter go to college? And I'm an architect. Will I still be able to work in a couple of years from now? And third thing that I find also very important that I would like to know is what can I do to influence my future? And what treatment is best for patients like me? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's obvious that these very understandable and vexing questions for patients will never be answered by my crystal ball. And I think in general, in healthcare, we tend to under-inform our patients. Whereas the number one question by patients is information, information about their disease, and in particular, information about their future. And um, it's interesting that um, we've done a study um, called the Voice of the Customer Program, which is a method that we learned in our partnership with Kaiser Permanente in the United States. It's a technique borrowed from industry, which is a special way of interviewing patients to learn what really matters to them. And when we interviewed patients here in Nijmegen and asked them about their priorities, the number one that came out was personalized information about their future, future scenarios. And it was exactly as May was pointing out, it is generic information on the one hand about Parkinson's disease, is there a genetic component, what is the pathophysiology, what is the prognosis on average, but patients also want to know in particular about their individual future. What are the best treatments? What can they expect? And I'm very excited to share with you today here three new initiatives that we have developed at the Radboud University Medical Center to better inform patients along this entire spectrum from generic to personalized information. 
The first is Parkinson TV, the second is Parkinson World, and the third is the Parkinson Precision Project. And I will explain that to you. Parkinson TV is a beautiful new initiative. We have purchased a television studio in the Rodboud University Medical Center where we broadcast live television once every month to patients. We have a panel of patients that decides about the topics. We don't decide, the patients decide. We always have a patient at the table. We have an expert at the table. It is interactive, so patients can ask us live questions. They can also review it, the missed episodes, in their own time um, from parkinsontv.nl, and I warmly recommend you to have a look. And it's a beautiful way of transporting knowledge from the hospital to the patient's homes instead of asking patients to travel the long, complex journey all the way to the hospital. And we already reach thousands of patients with each episode, and it's just wonderful to do. The second initiative is Parkinson World. We just learned this week that together with Tom Isaacs, a wonderful patient in the United Kingdom, we obtained a five to six hundred thousand pound grant to build a website with information for patients, which is firstly verified information by professionals, but importantly, it will be tailored and tweaked to your individual profile. So if you have early Parkinson's disease, like May, you don't want to hear about nursing homes or wheeled rollators. But if you are, after 30 years of Parkinson's, bedridden, you don't want to hear about the importance of early diagnostics or daily exercise. So it will be information tweaked to your personal individual profile, which I think is an important next step. And the third big initiative is a new project sponsored by the Dutch Zonnembe that we've just started, the Parkinson Precision Project, where we use a big data approach. General information from Dutch citizens combined with Parkinson-specific clinical information and deep detailed information from wearable sensors to build uniquely finely grained individual profiles, basically for all 40,000 individuals with Parkinson's in the Netherlands. And we will use that knowledge to build it into a personalized decision support system so that both patients and professionals can receive advice tailored to their unique individual profile and their specific needs. And while that is important to better sketch the future, I think such an approach is particularly exciting because it will help patients to receive the care they deserve best and that will help them to build their future. And together, I think that these new ways of engaging patients and bringing information to patients are the tools, the utensils, uh, the instruments to build and shape a better future yourself. So, May, why don't we go back to the crystal ball and why don't you have a look in the future yourself? Okay, I will look into the crystal ball and like you, I will rub it a little bit to see what's in store for us. But yeah, it looks very nice what I see. What I see is a future where patients and doctors get all the tools and instruments that they need to work together and to help patients like myself to gain control over their lives and to self-manage their Parkinson's disease and to help find the best possible solutions for the questions that, uh, that we have and the problems that we face. It looks very good. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah. Why don't we build that future together? Thank you very much. Thank you.